Hi guys, I'm back. Hopefully you like my previous videos, my tutorials. And uh, now I'm going to uh, guide you through the process of recovering data from a uh, flash disk. In this example, I will use my flash disk. Okay, let me show you. So this is my flash disk. It's a Kingston uh, flash disk. I'm not sure how big is the size. I can't really remember. Let me check. Okay, so here I'll open my uh, Kingston. Yeah, so it's about uh, three gigabyte, as you can see here. Yeah, and then let's have a look at the disk. So here I've got three uh, files. The first one is the image file, which is my picture, which I took earlier. The second one is also my picture. And the third one is a video. Yep, something like this. Okay. Now I will delete the file, select all, and then I will do a deletion. Yeah. Instant deletion without uh, putting all the files on my recycle bin. You can just press Ctrl A and then press Shift Delete to uh, permanently delete uh, these three items. As you can see here, it pops up with uh, delete multiple items. Are you sure you want to permanently delete these three items? And select yes. Then you could even select the disk and then format the disk as if you're formatting a new disk. You can select any uh, file system type like uh, NTFS, FAT, the default one is fat let's choose the ntfs so that you can also store uh, a bigger size of files select ok or start and then select ok to format that will erase the data format completed then we go back close the window so notice that we don't have anything here inside uh, or on my disk yeah, the size is still there. Uh, I mean, the, uh, the size is still the same. Yeah, it's almost 2.2 uh, gigabyte or I would say 3 gigabyte. Now, I will introduce you uh, with a very simple open source data recovery tools called uh, Test Disk. Although uh, I have already discussed a bit of uh, this tool, uh, the tool uh, called test disk comes with photo rack. Yeah, I could just minimize this and then drag this to my desktop to create the shortcut. Rename this to with uh, photo rack. Okay, then close this one, this window, and then right click and select run as administrator. And this is photo rack. Yeah, uh, if you have uh, already done any session previously, it will prompt you with continue previous session, yes or no. For this uh, option, I will select no. Okay, then let me adjust something here. I'll adjust the font so that you can see, uh, a, you can have a better look at this tool. Yeah, so notice that this tool automatically detect the existence of my Kingstone data traveler yeah, here so oh it's actually um, 8 gigabyte not 3 gigabyte as shown in my uh, explorer okay now let's do the recovery so once you run this uh, it will uh, the tool will automatically detect two partitions in this example um, and then all you need to do is select the uh, the disk or partition which you want to recover the data from okay and then select the partitions and then press enter to proceed and the next in the next uh, page you will see search options file options in this case we just need to do a search so press enter 
and it will automatically also detect the partition type in this example it was detected as other which represent fat ntfs hfs plus and razor file system by the way this utility uh, was created by christophe uh, greenier by uh, or uh, of data security or cgsecurity.org as you can see here yep so you can just go to this um, website so let me show you uh, the site cg security data recovery or if you use google you can just type uh, test disk in your google and select the second uh, result which uh, refer to the same uh, page as i've already shown you okay so the task disk yeah and if we go to this uh, website you'll see test disk data recovery tool i've already explained to you uh, on my previous uh, tutorial and then photo rack this is the tool uh, that i'm or we are going to actually explore uh, which is the data recovery software designed to recover lost files, including videos, document, and archive from disk, and support digital camera memory. Okay, so close this one. Let's go back, and then in the next uh, option here, we need to select other. Yeah, by default, it was already uh, uh, detected as other file system type. Just press enter and you could actually select free to scan for files uh, from uh, ntfs unallocated space only or select whole so this is much faster the free one and then the whole will uh, takes a while to extract depending on the size of the disk so let's select uh, the whole to ensure that we can actually recover things from our, uh, our flash disk and the next one is we could actually select the location where you should actually store uh, the files in this example I will just select uh, the default one which is C tools test disk and press C to accept the destination and there you go the tool will run and so far i found about several files like 20 something files within few seconds wow quite fast again it depends on the size of the disk you're trying to recover okay so hang on for a while so if you have a problem of accidentally formatting your flash disk uh, micro SD or any type of uh, storage devices for your image files your photos your uh, or pictures or even your videos you can use this free tool to recover uh, the files it's free and it's fast and so far I have recovered quite many hundred something files 123 and while the tool is still running you can you could just minimize this and go to the location where you store the recovered file in this example it should be somewhere in program files test disk oh sorry i think it's somewhere in program files oh sorry it's supposed to be an under tools okay, because i run it from tools okay tools test disk and notice that it will uh, the tool will actually create uh, one folder called recap underscore dear dot one yep and notice that i found Two files 
which has the same date as today or yesterday and let's have a look at the first file that I found latest file this is my file uh, this is my picture which I purposely deleted this is also my picture that I have deleted and remember that I have also um, a deleted one video file let's go up okay I found one dot mp4 file and this is my video exactly the same so far you can see that uh, as you can see uh, that I also found a different JPEG file quite a bunch of it let me see wow I found about 245 items roughly around 634 megabyte okay and we can just close this one and stop the process by pressing enter and press y to quit and press q a few times to quit from the tool all right so as you can see that the tool is very um, useful for recovering different type of files photo rack let me show you again the uh, website and notice that it support different type of operating systems yeah uh, of course also mac os different type of uh, file system like uh, fat ntfs up to hfs plus which is actually used by mac or mac operating systems and also support different type of media such as canon eos pentax sony and so on and known file uh, file format would be something like zip office pdf html jpeg and other uh, type of uh, media such as mp4 as you have seen that we could also successfully uh, recover our um, mp4 file all right so that's all for this tutorial hope you enjoy it and hopefully you can use uh, the uh, knowledge and uh, yeah the skills of recovering uh, your own files by using this free tool and um, good luck for your recovery process hopefully you can find whatever missing whatever missing in your or whatever lost uh, you have in your uh, disk which could be your flash disk micro SD and even your normal hard disk like SSD Okay, so hope you enjoy it and I'll see you next time. Thank you.